Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix Windows update error that is 0x800-73701 on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. Now the first step is to run update troubleshooter. For this, go to the start menu and then click on settings. Now if you have Windows 11, click on system and then you will see the troubleshoot option. Now, if you have Windows 10, then you have to click on Update and Security. Click on Update and Security and then you will find Troubleshoot. So, click on Troubleshoot. Now, click on Other Troubleshooter or Additional Troubleshooter. Now, in Windows 10, you will find Windows Update over here. And you simply click on it, then you will see the option which says Run the Troubleshooter. In Windows 11, click on Run. And once the troubleshoot is complete, restart your computer and then try to update your Windows. Now, the next step is to use Windows 10 Update Assistant or Windows 11 Installation Assistant if you have Windows 11. For Windows 10 users, copy this link. For Windows 11, copy this link. All the links are provided in the video description. For Windows 10 users, here you can see Update Assistant. Click on Update Now. Once you click on Update Now, this will download this Windows 10 Upgrade Assistant. So click on it. Click on Yes to Allow. Now it will go ahead and check for update. Now if it finds any pending update, it will give you an option to install it and then click on accept and install and that should go ahead and fix the problem. Now in case of Windows 11 user, here you can see Windows 11 installation assistant, click on download now and then run this exe file. Click on yes to allow. Now if Windows 11 installation assistant is not launching, it comes for a few seconds and if it goes away, then go to the download location. So go to the download location and then make a right click on Windows 11 installation assistant, then select properties, go to the compatibility tab. Now put a check on the box which says run this program in compatibility mode for and select Windows 7 from the list, then click on apply, then click on OK. Now launch the Windows 11 installation assistant and you should be able to see this accept and install. Click on it and install update your Windows 11. Now still you are receiving the error message. In that case, reset Windows update components. This step is applicable for both Windows 10 and 11 users. So copy all these commands. These commands are provided in the video description. Copy it and then open notepad. All the commands are provided in the video description. Open notepad on your computer. Paste all the command in notepad. Then go to file, then click on save as, and you can save it to desktop and name this file as wufix.bat. And for save as type, select all files and then click on save. Once done, close this, go to desktop. Here you can see win wufix file. Make a right click, then click on run as administrator. Make sure that you're opening this file as an administrator. Click on yes to allow. Now this process will take some time. First of all, it will stop all the Windows update services and then it will run some scans. Now the scan will take some time. Now once the scan is complete, it will restart all the Windows update services and then you can restart your computer and then try to update your Windows and that should go ahead and fix the error message. Now the next step is to use media creation tool. So if you have Windows 10, go to this website. If you have Windows 11, go to this website. Now for Windows 10 users, scroll down here. You can see media creation tool. Click on download tool now. And once the download is complete, run this exe file. Then you will see the screen which says, you have to go ahead and click on accept. And then by default upgrade, this PC now would be selected. Click on next. It will start downloading Windows 10 along with the latest update. Now this process will take some time. Now once the download is complete, before the installation, you will see the screen which says ready to install. And by default, the option to keep personal files and app would be checked. When this is checked, you will not lose any data on the computer. So click on install. After the installation, log into your computer and your Windows 10 should be up to date. Now, if you have Windows 11, on this website, here you can see media creation tool. Click on download tool now. Now, once the download is complete, run this exe file. Now click on accept. And then by default, Windows 11 will be selected. Click on next. And select ISO file, then click on next. Now save it to desktop. You can set it to desktop and now click on save over here. Now once the download is complete, click on finish and then go to desktop. Now over here you can see Windows ISO file. Make a double click on Windows ISO file. Now here you can see setup file. Make a double click on setup file. Click on yes to allow. 
Now this will load Windows 11. Here you can see install Windows 11, click on next. It will go ahead and check for update. Now this process will take some time, click on accept and let the process complete. Now again before the installation, you will see this screen which says ready to install and by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked. When this is checked, you will not lose any data on the computer. Click on install. After the installation, log into your computer and your windows should be up to date. You should not receive this error message again. So that will be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.